I am freaking out as we are talking right now because it's just so hard to oh man it's just it's not like I'm like scared of anything at this moment but it, what it is is my body just gets hit with this wave of stress hormones and then I get anxiety and sometimes I can't handle it you know it's been 10 it's been nine months right now since I've been able to sleep like I want to I have some great days and I'm so grateful for the nights I can sleep well but for the most part I cannot sleep well I always get really anxious and really scared and uh, showing up on y'all no I get really anxious I get really scared and I try to tell myself you know it's okay everything's okay but you know that kind of stuff just doesn't work all the time it's real tough man it's, it's real tough and it's real annoying let me check my my mic 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 okay it's real annoying because every time I try to man I just guys I know I know when I'm working out and everything it may seem like I'm I might be half bootying it you know what I mean and that that sounds terrible like I said I, it may say it may feel like I'm not giving all I can and that's the absolute truth that is the absolute truth I don't give it everything I got when I work out because I can't like my mind won't let me all the time you know my mind won't always let me um give my all because I get scared I get so anxious that I man I man I hate it guys because if you used to watch my old videos on oh man I forgot to make a video for Instagram shoot I gotta get better about that I'm gonna start working on that but if you used to watch my old Instagram videos I used to work out sweating pouring out of me you know sweat everything dead dead tired I used to love sweating I can't bring myself to sweat anymore because I get too anxious I hate dude living with general I'm gonna lean back you know chill for a second um living with generalized anxiety disorder absolutely blows hold on let me go change the light right quick guys general anxiety man it, it blows i can't work out like i want to i can't fight like i want to i can't push myself like i want to and it's so crazy i used to live life with like no fear like zero fear when it came to working out now i get scared every time i work out and i feel bad because i get on here and i work out with you guys and it's, it feels like if it, i know the old me i'm 100 pounds lighter than i used to be and the old me, dude, I work out so much harder, way harder. And that's only a couple years ago, two, three years ago. And I was working out like that up until I started smoking marijuana, man. Man, if I could tell you guys anything, let's just relax. I don't even need it that close. If I could tell you guys anything, I would say... Stay away from the marijuana, man. To me. I mean, CBD, I don't know. CBD still freaks me out. But if you can handle CBD, I would go with that, guys. I would say stay away from THC. It's, if, unless, I, I would say stay away from completely, but I know some people, if, the, if you're using it for chronic pain, I get that. One second, guys.
If I could go back and do it all, dude, I would have never, never smoked marijuana. Like, I'm not going to say it ruined my life because I would have to believe my life is over. And I don't think it is. But it, get, it it's giving me a real rough patch. Like, I went from, I was getting healthy and everything. I went from that to getting fatter for a little bit to losing all motivation to do anything in life. I quit working out. I started eating terrible, eating cheese dip, cheese puff. I mean, towards the end of my marijuana stint, I was trying to get healthier. Uh, I was pretty much changing up everything I was eating. I was dropping a couple pounds here and there. But I got really fat for a while, then it came back. And then... I, was, I couldn't make it to the gym no more. Every time I tried to work out, I started freaking out. Well, not really freaking out, but just felt like it was wild. And obviously, I was looking at stuff that was crazy. I was falling apart. I was losing all motivation. The only thing I had motivation for was YouTube. Like, I, I, I had a burning passion to make YouTube videos every single day. I was giving it everything I had, you know. And it used to kill me because sometimes I would get... Uh, suspended for a week or two <laughs> sorry <laughs> getting over a cold <laughs> but I would man I gave I was giving everything to YouTube and everything but outside of that guys when I was smoking marijuana man I was so anxious it was so terrible I could I couldn't and I wasn't scared of dying, like, internally. I was scared of dying, like, just walking outside and somebody was going to... I had a real freak out that somebody was just going to randomly shoot me. I don't know why I thought that, but I did for a very long time while I was smoking. And then my anxiety just got worse, so I started having panic attacks. Man, I just... this Living with this anxiety for the last nine months... And mine was... Gotta understand, guys. My anxiety was drug-induced... Um, the drugs got me there because I was not this kind of person before. Like I said, when you guys see me work out now, it's so different. I like when I used to work out on camera, guys, it was it's nothing like what you guys see now. Right now you guys see me like halfway trying because my anxiety gets so bad I can't push myself. Like I haven't worked up a sweat while I was working out and I don't know how long. The last time I worked up a sweat was because it was just so hot outside. But outside of that, I haven't worked up a sweat like just working out in a long time. Every time I try, I get anxious, man. I feel like, and then I get so disoriented. And it's just crazy. I have to keep my heartbeat around 120 beats per minute. If it starts cracking like 130, 140, I don't know why, but my body starts freaking out. And so that's why y'all see me have this bench here. But oh, y'all can't really see it, but y'all can see this part. Y'all see this bench here behind me. The reason I even got that was because I can, I couldn't work out standing up, you know? I can't, like, work out standing up. I can't do squats or any of that. So what I had to do was buy a bench. I put this together on stream. Y'all can go watch that if you feel like it. But um, I bought this bench. Well, I bought another bench, and I worked out on that. Well, actually, my first workout was in this chair. And then once I realized I could actually work out, that's when I started working out on my other workout bench. And then I was like, okay, I'm doing good here. And then I built that bench on stream too, if you want to watch that. I built my pull-up bar on stream too, if you want to watch that. And then uh, I built this bench. And man, it was worth it. It was worth it, man. Like, this is the only way I can work out, man. And I, I'm just so sick of, I don't want to be ungrateful for my life. But it is very exhausting to live with general anxiety disorder, generalized. Because at this point, man, I just feel so scared of life sometimes. I push through. Though I push through. You know, I don't just give in. I don't say, you know what, screw it, I'm going to get drunk. Or screw it, I'm going to try to get high again. Or say, screw it, I'm not going to leave my bedroom. I've had the worst anxiety, and I still went to work. Guys, when I was having panic attacks, I still went to work. Every day I had to go to work. And then I would, on the weekends, when I would get off on a weekend, so I would get off at 5 from five o'clock when I got off to about two days later, man, I didn't even, I barely left my couch. I was that anxious. 
I would get home and I would lay on my couch for hours just scrolling my phone. Sh- scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Let me do I have anything crazy in there? No, y'all can see. I just have apps. But uh scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And it was so wild. I couldn't help myself because I was so anxious I couldn't look up from my phone. And man. I still struggle with that now. <laughs> I struggle. The two biggest things I still struggle with the with when it comes to anxiety, working out. Uh and it sucks, man. This is the thing that sucks. I don't be real with y'all for a couple seconds. For my four people that I got in here and for YouTube. But I like to eat chat. I don't care about the views. If somebody's listening, I want y'all to hear this. Hey guys, it really sucks. When I tell you guys, it really sucks being fat and having general anxiety disorder. Because what happens is, some people want me to just... Being fat and having general anxiety disorder right now, it's tough because people... the two, It feels like the things that I get is people make fun of me how fat I am, which is okay. But it's not like... it's I'm not It's not that I'm not working out because I don't want to. You know, it's because my anxiety's so bad, so I have to give my best effort. I mean, it's like a full effort for me to work out, and I still do it. And even, you know, I lost 100 pounds. Still tough to get this last 100 off because my anxiety got worse since I lost the first 100. Not to the point where it's so bad that I can't do anything. That part of my anxiety is doing fine, like just moving around in life. But when it comes to working out, my anxiety has gotten worse since the beginning. Like, I have a hard time just even walking around, uh, you know? Like, that's the thing about having this anxiety disorder is it it hits you in different ways. That's why it takes some people a few years to get over it. Because at first, you may be scared to get in the shower. Then it may be you're scared to use the toilet. Then it may be scared you're scared to walk outside. Then it may be because you're scared to get in your car. Or maybe you're scared to go into the store. Like, it happens in different ways. And so, that's what's happened to me. I used to, I used to walk outside all the time. That was how I used to get rid of my anxiety. Now I'm afraid to walk sometimes. It just hits me differently. And another thing, man, is just being, being uh, the thing that people tell me, well, you should be more scared of being fat. Nobody's actually told me this, but that's what I hear the most of, you know? One second, guys. Yeah, another thing is just that, uh, why did that go away? One thing is that, uh, people say that I should be more scared of being fat than I should about anything. And I give you that, but understand I can't lose all this fat in one day. Even if I fasted for the next 40 days on just water and salt, one, that would take my anxiety to the roof because I'd be so scared. And secondly, it's just like, that's just not the way to motivate people, I think. You know, if somebody's really dealing with real anxiety, you're telling them, well, it's going to be even worse. If you don't lose weight, you're going to die. So I'm like, okay, that's not really helping anything, brother. I'm trying to work out so I can lower my anxiety. It's not like I'm avoiding it. I'm doing the best I can. And like I said, I don't think most people have a problem with that. I think most people only have a problem with when people work out and they don't when people make excuses I ain't making no excuses I'm gonna work out the best I can and I think that's all people ask for sometimes when you're overweight just give it what you can and that's all I can do right now I can't sit here and do burpees and work up a sweat and just be dripping I can't do that like I used to but you know every day I pray for peace and I just pray to be able to get out of this dude man y'all don't even know well uh, maybe some of you do know but if some of y'all deal with anxiety, and some people's are worse than others, you know, mine is, I, I, I don't have it out. Only thing I, only thing I do with my anxiety, I work out the best I can but until I start freaking out. I pray and 
I just learned to walk in the silence. That's all I got. I don't, you know, some of the people deal with their anxiety in a different way. Some people, you know, some people cut, some people drink, some people smoke weed, some people get uh, different hallucinations, some people take shrooms. I don't do any of that. I'm trying to do this the best I can. Uh, not on my own, but with the help of um, people around me talking, therapy like that. And just living with it. Either this anxiety is going to kill me or it's not. And if it does, I mean, if it could kill me, even though I'm trying to do all the things I can to avoid it, if it could kill me, then hey, you know what? It was, it was a fun ride. And I'll be scared all the way until my heart stops. But if there's actually recovery to this anxiety thing, and I've heard it takes, it may take years. <laughs> I heard it may take years. But I'm okay with that. If, if I get out of this, and let's say I go on to, let's say I live to be 75 years old, 80 years old, right? America's still thriving or is doing the best it can. And everything is, you know, okay. You know, there'll be some hardships, obviously. But let's say I grow up to be, I, I live to be 85. And I can look back on these last two years, three years, and be like, man, that was a hard time in my life, but I'm so glad I got through it. It's going to make, I'm, I'm grateful now. But I, I, I can't say, I, honestly, I think I'll be even more grateful when I don't have this. When I'm not dealing with anxiety and being scared to death every day, being disoriented, having the jelly legs, having nausea, sometimes being afraid to take showers, sometimes being afraid to go to the bathroom by myself, sometimes being afraid to walk, sometimes being afraid to get in the car. It's, it's exhausting. And so I think in the, in the end, my gratitude has gone up. And like I said, I, I don't have any other outlet. All I have is working out, which is sometimes tough because I get anxiety when I work out sometimes. And the other one is just prayer. And even if, you know, guys, when I go to church, you know, I'm Catholic. But when I go to mass, it's just I still get anxiety. I get almost the worst anxiety when I go to mass. It's just like it's like anything I think that anything that you guys would be like, this is what you should do to be good. Everything I do that I would consider good, eating healthy, working out, going to mass. All of that stuff makes me really anxious, really anxious. I mean, absolutely feel like I'm going to die anxious sometimes. You know, I've had panic attacks at a workout. I've had panic attacks in mass. I've had panic attacks just living life and trying to be cool. So it's not it's not as easy as people think. Like, oh, just make the right decision. Just meditate. It's like I've had panic attacks med meditating. It's a journey. There's no... There's no real cure to anxiety. Like it's you're gonna have to just slowly work your way out of it. You know? You're gonna just slowly work your way through it. That's all I that's all you can do. And that's what I've been doing. I'm just working my way through it. Some ways it's gotten so much better, some ways it's it's still the same. But what I am thankful for is that I can come home and make videos. For a long time, guys, for about three to four months, I could not hop on camera on YouTube or kick didn't exist yet but i couldn't live stream in fact kick.com is the reason i even live stream again i used to live stream on youtube but kick.com said they were taking streamers you know and that's what i did i was like well this is i wasn't i, I took it because at the time kick.com wasn't big there was no aiden ross over here or nothing yet and so i was like well this is a way to get my feet wet again because I knew I wasn't going to have any viewers. So when I got on here, as expected, I didn't have any viewers. So I could live stream and not have the pressure. <laughs> I could live stream and not have any pressure. And that's what I did. I, that's how I got back into live streaming. And here we are again, you know. And so this is one of the things that has gotten better. You know, live streaming has gotten better even with my anxiety it's gotten better i can get on camera most of the time i can live stream and have no problems in fact it's been a long time since i've had a anxiety or panic attack though really there's no such thing as a anxiety attack anxiety attack is referring to a panic attack or some people may say it's like the attack you have right before a panic attack like that you can either have a panic attack or you don't it's like that 
that right there but it really an anxiety attack is a panic attack but nonetheless i digress my point is it's been a while since i've had a panic attack on screen in fact it's been a panic my last panic attack that i had my really it was a really big one and it was it was i think in january sometime in january it's march now so it's been two months since i've had a really big panic attack but there, there's nothing to say i won't have another panic attack you notice i'm sitting in here with the lamp if y'all notice when i first started live streaming here on kick I had my, uh, I have all these LED lights, selfie lights, ring lights. That's what I use. But one, it's super hard to stare into a ring light for three hours. It really burns up your eyes. Two, I had a panic attack. So I got so scared. I told myself the only way I can live stream is with the lights on. I could no longer sit in the dark with selfie lights. So I started live streaming with the lights on. And it was okay because a lot of live streamers do that. And then, yeah, that was that was three months ago. I, that was in December when I started streaming with the lights on. And now here we are. For the first time in three months, I can finally stream without having my fluorescence on. On it, well, no, I, I don't know how good it looks because when I do live streaming with the fluorescence on, it looks awful. It still looks pretty trash. The selfie lights make it look a lot better. This webcam does not do well with. Uh, fluorescent lighting at all but who cares man look how much headspace i got that's because i'm not sitting up i'm kind of leaning back it helps my anxiety too but uh yeah that's where we're at guys that's where we've been trying to get to oh i appreciate y'all listening i wanted to get that off my chest uh, we'll probably be working out again on Friday. If you guys like to watch me work out, come check me out Friday. We'll try to get a little GTA in this weekend. I haven't, I haven't been on GTA, but this weekend I plan on playing a little bit. Um, once I get done with some homework, but I'll have a little bit more time on my hand. So it's, it's be expecting GTA either tomorrow or Friday. Friday, more likely. That, because Friday will probably be a four-hour stream, probably a little bit of working out, a little bit of talking, and then I'll probably play GTA for a couple hours, depending on how live it is. But uh, yeah, anyway, that was my talk on general anxiety disorder. Um, I'll say this: in YouTube, I normally cut this out for you guys, but I'm gonna keep this in just in case. Um, if you need any prayer, please uh, please DM me on Twitter. You can obviously you can be anonymous. I'll be happy to pray for you. Um, I only ask one favor in return, and um, you don't have to do it, obviously. But if you can pray for me, you know that's just my favor. I ask if you can do it. Um, just get you know, just pray for my anxiety. Pray for my uh, ability to keep teaching and guiding. Pray for me to live right when I'm not on this camera. You know, I don't want to be fake. I don't want to get on here and tell you guys not to do something or how dangerous something is and I'm doing it off camera. So pray that I am the same person I am on camera that I am off camera. Also, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, just pray that, you know, we can keep the thing going. And that's pretty much it. You know, I just asked for that prayer. Once again, you can just hit me up on Twitter. I check my Twitter all the time because I, I look at a lot of stuff on Y'all see. If you ever go to my Twitter, you'll see what I, I look at. But if you, uh, you need any prayer requests, just hit me up on Twitter and just let me know what it is and I'll pray for you right then and there. Or I'll try my best to, you know? All right. Y'all have a great night. I'm still kind of sick, so I got to get some rest. Got a headache, everything. So I love y'all. Have a great night. Peace.